Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna look at how to get tone like Yvette Young, and I'm gonna show you the gear that you'll need to achieve this. We're going to look at three different guitar sounds from three different songs. So the first song is Parachute. Second is Nero. And lastly, we'll have Glimmer. I hope to make more of these in the future. I'm a big fan of guitars, collecting guitars as you can probably tell, and effects pedals. So I thought I'd want to put them to use and I want to make it interesting for you at the same time. So I'd like to challenge myself to see if I can use this gear to get similar sounds to some of our favourite guitarists. So what gear will you need? So bear in mind all the gear that I'm about to list here. They have more affordable alternatives, or you could even do everything on your computer. You could get VST plugins for the amp and all of the effects pedals. The only thing you would need is the guitar. So for guitars, you're probably already aware that Yvette has her own signature Ibanez Talman, and she uses the Strat style pickup configuration of free pickups. Um, it's quite hard to get a hold of Talmans these days, and if you want to get a signature guitar, then uh, you, you know that's the perfect sound for it. Anyway, all you need is a guitar with these this Strat style pickup selection. I'm going to be using my Fender Classic Series 50 Stratocaster. As for amps, Yvette uses a Vox AC30, so you want to get yourself a Vox style amplifier. Um, I'm going to be using the Iridium by Strymon and I'm going to be having it on the chime setting and this is based on a Vox AC30 so it should be perfect for the job. Alright, so onto my favourite part, what effects pedals will you need to get her sound? So I got a lot of this information from Premier Guitar Rig Rundown, absolutely fantastic video if you haven't watched that already. Uh, some of these might be outdated by now, but we can definitely use these pedals to get the same effect. So you'll need a compressor pedal, I'll be using the Kali 76 by Origin FX, uh, a very expensive compressor but sounds absolutely fantastic. You can get away with using any old compressor pedal, I believe Yvette uses the Warden compressor by Earthquaker devices and she has this as an always on kind of sound. Next you'll need some kind of preamp boost pedal and this is to send the amp from breakup into overdrive territory. Uh, I'll be using the um, Exotic FX RC Booster V2 and um, Yvette I believe she has this uh, Japanese style uh, one but I can't remember the name of it. You'll need a chorus pedal. I'll be using the Julia by Walrus Audio, absolutely fantastic uh, chorus pedal. And she uses this same pedal on her board too, but I do believe that more of the modern sounds that you hear, the chorus sounds, are by are from the Somersault by uh, Caroline FX and that has that more of that lo-fi kind of warbly sound to it. You'll need a reverb pedal for that kind of ambient kind of texture in some of the songs. I'll be using the Mercury uh, Maris, uh, Maris Mercury 7 and that's the same pedal that she uses. You'll need some kind of delay pedal, preferably an analog delay, something like she uses the MXR uh, analog delay pedal. I'll be using the Nemesis by Source Audio and I'll put it on the analog delay setting. You'll need an overdrive pedal, you can get away with just using the boost pedal but I've got one on hand so I'm going to use it and I'm going to use the JHS Morning Glory. And lastly, is probably the most difficult one, is the uh, octave pedal. So she uses a, a, boss, a bass, sorry, uh, MXR uh, sub octave pedal. So this one's uh, quite an unusual choice, but sounds fantastic. And um, I don't have a sub octave pedal, so I'm going to be using the Enzo by Meris, which is a synth pedal, but I've managed to set it to get a sub octave kind of sound, so it should get a pretty accurate reproduction that way. All right, so that's it. So let's get stuck into the first song. First, we're going to look at Parachute. Alright, it's time to get geeky. So we're going to start with the song Parachute. So this song is in FACGC E tuning and it has this lovely like warbly kind of warm chorus sound to it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the guitar settings. So like I said, you're going to need like a Talman or a Stratocaster pickup configuration here. And from listening to it, it doesn't sound like it's on the neck pickup. It sounds like it's on the neck and middle pickup. So you want that in between selection there. I've rolled the tone down a little bit on my guitar, so you just have to adjust for brightness because her tone is not that bright. The next thing to look at is the amp. I've heard her say multiple times that she uses the Vox AC30 and she has that around the edge of breakup or just a bit before. So that's what I've tried to get here. So let's take a listen to that. Right, so moving over to pedals, the main sound is the chorus sound and I'm, you're going to be using the chorus 
the reverb just to you know space things out and give it that atmospheric sound. Compressor is going to be always on, so I'm going to put that on now. And then you're going to be using, uh, well, I'm going to be using the booster pedal here to stimulate a bit of grit to make it sound more of that lo-fi kind of chorus sound that you get from the somersault pedal that she uses. So let's bring in the main sound, the chorus sound. <laughs> So it's already sounding much more like the track, right? So let's simulate that kind of, you know, that kind of lo-fi setting by using the booster. To me, it sounds like it's got a bit too much top end on it for her tone. So I'll bring down the treble a bit. And lastly, we want the reverb just to give it some space. So we're going to be using the Maris Mercury 7 here. So we're almost there. So let's see how that compares to the actual track. All right, on to our second track, and this is the intro to the song Nero. It has a really gritty, kind of sub-octave, awesome kind of tone that you'd never really heard before. Uh, so I had a lot of fun trying to recreate this one. So if we start from the beginning, uh, the tuning of the guitar is um, quite a strange one on this one. D, A, C sharp, F sharp, A, E. That yeah, sounds particularly cool. As for pickup selector, I would say this one is on the neck. I've watched her in a few videos play this on the neck pickup. And um, I've rolled down the tone a bit again because these pickups are quite bright. So onto pedals. The main sound for this one is this sub octave. So you sh like I said in the intro, she uses this uh, MXR bass sub octave pedal. So I've recreated this sound with um, the best I could with this uh, Mara synth pedal. So next we're going to have the compressor on as usual. Uh, this time we're going to use the RC booster to send this into overdrive, okay? <laughs> Sounding a little sharp, her sounds more like mid focused. So perhaps I'll roll down the tone a bit on my guitar, bring down the treble a bit, uh, cut the trebles a bit on the on the amplifier too. It sounds like it has more gain on it too. So that's I'll put more on. closer that's for sure and lastly let's just add a bit of reverb just to give it space and uh, for this track um, I have a smaller reverb kind of sound it's not really that atmospheric when you listen to it all right so I think I've, I've pretty much got it there so let's see how it sounds with the track Glimmer. So for this one, the sound is a bit more brighter than the other tracks because I believe it's from uh, a different record. Uh, I've gone with the middle pickup selector uh, for a brighter tone like the track has, but I've rolled down the tone just to try and get it as accurate as I can. The tuning for this one is F-A-C-G-A-E, so it's a little different from that regular F-A-C-G-C-E tuning, and you're going to have a capo on the second fret. This track is a lot more atmospheric, and you have that sudden like do 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 um, kind of distorted delay part so I've had to factor that in as well which I had a lot of fun with so if you have cable anxiety it's uh, probably best not to look what I've got down on the floor how many cables I've got going everywhere and all of these pedals on the desk here so to talk you through it um, the compressor up to the 
Maris are in one loop on this loop pedal down here and then I've got a second loop on this loop pedal with the JHS Morning Glory and the Nemesis Delay for that really like heavy sudden delayed part that you hear. So this track is quite atmospheric. Um, all we're going to be using for the main part is the compressor with the Maris on with quite a like a lot of de a lot of reverb on it to give it some nice lush space. <laughs> So that's sounding fairly accurate there. Perhaps it could do have been a bit more thicker. I'm not so sure. So uh, a bit too much high frequency, I think. So I'm going to cut a bit with the amp here. Uh, but this is a cut control, like on a, a Vox AC30, which is really cool. So more bright, less bright. Anyway, so let's bring that down a bit. A bit more atmospheric. And uh, this time I'll try and get up to the where we bring in this uh, delay and distortion sound, which sounds really cool, but you gotta wait for it. Okay, and hopefully I'll get it right. See how that sounds along with the actual track. So uh, let's wrap this one up. So that was a lot of fun. I had so much fun going through all of these effects and trying to match those sounds. And uh, tell me how well you think I did. And uh, another question I have for you is, uh, who would you like me to do next? Uh, which guitarist and which sound would you like to see? Um, this gives me an excuse to be geeky about effects pedals and guitars and stuff, and also talk about math rock at the same time. I put a lot of research into this one, but it was a lot of fun, so I really appreciate any support that you are giving by watching this video, or either if you're a Patreon or supporting me by any other means. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>